Hey y'all, it's Stacy with southernbite.com. We are in the kitchen today making something sweet. It's my no-bake peanut butter cup pie. Now I will admit, this is one of my family's most favorite desserts because we're huge peanut butter fans at our house. Now I've got an eight ounce block of cream cheese here in this large bowl and I've gone ahead and zapped it in the microwave a little bit. We wanna make sure this is good and soft. It will make incorporating all of the ingredients together a whole lot easier, ensuring that that's super soft. To this, I'm going to add one cup of creamy peanut butter and one cup of powdered sugar. Then we're just gonna fold all this together. Now to make this process even easier, once we get this pie put together, we're using a store-bought chocolate cookie crust. Um, it's super easy, it saves you a bunch of steps, and it tastes delicious. So I've got this mixed together here with my spatula. You can also do this with the mixer if you'd like. Next, we're gonna fold in 16 ounces of frozen whipped topping that's been thawed. Now, in this case, I like to use the whipped topping rather than real whipped cream because this frozen whipped topping is going to hold its shape. Oftentimes when you use real whipped cream, your pie can fall, especially if you're not going to eat it immediately. And when we pop it in the fridge, we don't want that to happen. So opting for the whipped topping is really the best thing in this case. Now, I'm a huge fan of real whipped cream. So we're gonna top this pie with real whipped cream. I'm just folding this together. Now, honestly though, if you, want to save another step, you don't have to make homemade whipped cream to go on top of this. You could buy some additional whipped topping um, and it will work just fine. And the truth of the matter is, is that you don't even really need a topping. There's so much deliciousness in this pie already, you don't have to have something else to go on top of it. We're going to put this into our pie crust here in just a second, but first we're going to add, this is about 10 peanut butter cups that we've chopped and we're just gonna fold these in and our pie is ready. Let's see here. Got our pie crust. This is gonna go right in it. We're gonna pop this in the freezer for about four hours, but preferably overnight. Now, again, this is something that you can eat right away. It's just gonna be really hard to deal with. It's gonna be hard to cut in this state. Once it's in the freezer, it's gonna firm up really nicely and be much easier to cut. All right, now fortunately, I've got another one here that we've already frozen. It's nice and firm. So we're gonna add some whipped topping to this. Grab a spatula. This goes right on top. Beautiful. Now you could top this with some additional chopped peanut butter cups. I've got a few whole ones right here. This just shows everybody exactly what we've got. Y'all, you can find this recipe and hundreds more easy recipes that are perfect for your family on my website at southernbite.com. Y'all enjoy. Mary, I almost hurt myself when he made that one. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. We started the show off with a great cake and end it with a great pie. Thanks to the Alabama Peanut Producers Association for sponsoring today's recipe. If you'd like to print off a copy for yourself, visit southernbite.com and click on the Simply Southern TV link at the top of the page. Now, are you sure you're going to be okay thinking about that pie? I think so. <laughs> Fortunately, all I have to be able to do is say, see you next week. When we get back together then, you'll meet the folks who were named Alabama's Outstanding Young Farm Family for 2020. And speaking of being outstanding in your field, We'll also find out where you can find Bama's Best Pizza. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. I hope you'll join us again next time. Simply Southern is produced by the Alabama Farmers Federation and made possible with the support of Alabama Farmers Cooperative and these sponsors.